Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unboxing the Mind Stealer Spear Ranks for Warcry. Here we go, here's the Mind Stealer Spear Ranks for Warcry. And it's, if you've seen the expansion books, you'll know this has got some really cool abilities and it's really going to add to the gameplay for sure. And this will make a really great ally or hero to add to our warbands. In this video, we'll unbox the Spheranx, we'll have a good look at the sprue, the instructions, the fighter and ability cards, and then I'll also build the model, glue it together, and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with the other monsters and larger miniatures that you can find for Warcry. And this came out with three others, and that was the Ogroid Myrmidon, the Formeroid Crusher, or Fomeroid Crusher, and also the chimera so i'll get that this one built and then we'll do a side by side comparison with all of these and um, we'll also bring in a couple of our other larger models and we'll see how this stands up against them so great looking packaging nice image on the front there and i must admit this wasn't my first choice of monsters the first one i got was the myrmidon then the chimera then the foamroid and then this one so i'm really interested to see what this is going to look like when it's built but the box art is great i love the warcry branding really good and it tells us on the back what we're going to get. We're going to get the miniature. We're going to get the fighter card and the ability cards. And as always, these ability cards are going to be in all the different languages. And so let's get this open and we'll check out the contents. So I picked this up from Element Games and the RRP on this is £25. But at Element Games, you can save up to 10 or 20% even. And I'll put a link in the description below so you can get that saving. And that'll be an affiliate link. But it won't cost you anything extra. In fact, it's going to save you that money. And for every sale made through an affiliate link, I get a small commission. And that's going to help me do more unboxings and loads more content like this. So thanks so much for that support. I really appreciate it. But let's get this open and see what's inside. And we usually get a little rune mark on the tab. And there we go. There's the Chaotic Beasts rune mark. So that gives us a kind of clue as to how we're going to be able to use this miniature. And we're not going to get any tray or anything in this one. We're going to get the little plastic envelope with our cards. That's going to have the fighter card and the abilities in. It looks like we're going to get two of these small sprues. We're going to get our little instruction book. And we're going to get a base. And so there's the base. And to give you an idea of size on this, that looks to be a 90 mil base. So that gives us an idea of just how big this miniature is going to be. So let's go through the sprues first, then we'll have a look at the instruction book, then we'll have a look at the cards, and then I'll go away and build the model, and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with all the others. So here we go, here's our 90 mil base, and then we've got the two sprues here, the two small sprues, and it looks like it's going to be a fairly decent side miniature there. So let's have a look at the first one up close. So here we go, and we're getting a little bit of kind of base material there that this is going to stand on. This is going to be the little step up. And then we've got the torso here. Some really nice detail there with the little bits of fur. So it's quite a smooth model. I thought there might be more texture on this maybe. So it's quite smooth with just the fur here and some nice detail in like this little strap there. Oh, and there's the face. Let me get zoomed in on that. Let's focus in a bit better. There we go. So there's the face. Nice to have a cat in Warcry. And then we've got the tail and another part of the face there. That must be like the tongue part. So looking really good. Oh, there's another bit there. So maybe we get some different choices, do we? Maybe some different choices of how to assemble this. So that'd be interesting to see how that comes together. And the claws are really great. There's one of the paws there. Really nice detail. As we've come to expect by now. So that's awesome, that's the first one. And then let's have a look at the second. Ah, so here, this is this must be like the main. So we're getting lots of detail here. This is a really nice, nicely sculpted piece. Really smooth, lots of texture there. Really nice, I haven't seen anything like this before on the models that we've unboxed so far and built. So that's really good. And a really big headpiece here. So depending on how we assemble the miniature, I guess, we can choose to use this one. That looks really good. That looks like a great variation. So I'm kind of drawn to that one. But here's the other one. You can have these horns. 
So a little bit of choice, but these bits look really good. So interesting to see how they're going to go together. So there's our sprues. And now let's take a look at the instruction book. So this isn't going to be a very big book here and opening it up. It's just giving us a little look of how it goes together. So two main bits there. It looks pretty straightforward to build. I don't think it's going to take long at all. So to get that body put together. And then we've got some variations here of how we put together the different heads and the faces. So I have a little decision to make in a minute once I build this, which one to go for. But it's always nice to have a choice for sure. I like this look of this one, but we'll see what they look like once they're all cut off the sprues. And here again, this is part of the variation here. And the different faces you can put on and they're mounted. And we've got a nice color guide on the back and it's not going to include the contrast paints here, but it's certainly a good reference that we can use and we can pick out some of these main colors so we can choose our contrast paints that go along with those. So there we go. Just a small little booklet. Nothing big there, not too many pieces to assemble. Should be quite fun to build. Right, now let's have a look at the cards. So here we go. These are come in this little protective plastic bag. So let's get these out. So we've got our, get rid of that. We've got our fighter cards and we've got our ability cards. And these all come in the different languages. So let's just keep the English and we put those to one side. And then it's going to show a nice image on the back. So usually when you get these with the war bands, you'd have all the different fighter types. But being as this is one model, we're just going to get the Mind Stealer Spheranx on the back. A great piece of artwork. And these cards are really nice. And with all the different languages, I'm sure there's something we can do with those other cards to take advantage of these images here. And flipping it over, this is where we'll get three abilities unique to the Spheranx. But let's take a look at the fighter type card before we do the abilities. And so here we go. So we get the fighter image here, looking great. And this one uses 240 points. It's got the Mystic rune mark and the Chaotic Beast rune mark, where the Faction rune mark would usually go. And you can see here, we've got a movement of eight, can take 30 wounds, and it's got a toughness of five. And it looks like we've just got one weapon, so it's just claws and fangs attacking here with a range one, can make four attacks, strength five, dealing two to five on a crit. So pretty healthy stats there, not bad at all for 240 points. That's pretty good, and it can take some damage and has got a good movement. But really, with this Spheranx, it's the abilities that you kind of want this miniature for. Uh, so let's have a look at those, uh, those abilities now. And here we go. So the first one is a double called Telepathic Threatening. Pick an enemy fighter within a number of inches of this fighter equal to the value of this ability and then roll a dice on a three plus until the end of the battle round that fighter cannot make move actions or disengage actions okay so this is a really useful ability here and um, pick an enemy fighter within a number of inches equal to the ability so you know those that enemy is going to be pretty close so if you've got a big fighter a strong fighter from the enemy coming at you there's a good chance they're going to be quite close, but you don't want them to make another move and then an attack action in their next activation. So this would be a good time to use that. And you just need to roll a three plus, so a good chance of getting it. And then that fighter, that enemy fighter, won't be able to move or disengage. So you can either keep them from getting in the fight, but also keep them or prevent them from leaving the fight with a disengage action. So that's a really nice double there. And the idea that is that this Spheranx gets into the mind of the enemy and kind of manipulates them and makes them do crazy stuff. So that's really cool. And the next one is a triple called Dominate Mind. Pick a visible enemy fighter within six inches of this fighter and then roll a number of dice equal to the value of this ability. For each roll of three to four, allocate one damage point to that fighter. For each roll of five to six, allocate three damage points to that fighter. So this looks like it's going to be another really useful ability. And if you're getting high values for your ability, a five or a six, then you're going to be able to roll a nice amount of dice. And the chances are on a three to four, you're going to get some points allocated damage wise. And then on a five to six, three more. So yeah, that could be really good, that triple. Okay, now we're on to the final one, which is a quad. This is called Charm. Pick an enemy fighter within a number of inches of this fighter equal to the value of this ability. That fighter cannot activate this battle round. Okay, again, so it's all relying on the 
dice value for the range that you can use this ability, but this can actually prevent a fighter from activating during the battle round. So again, you've got a strong enemy fighter that you don't want getting involved or activating. You can stop them completely activating during that battle round. So a really strong quad there, really playing into the narrative of the spirit, uh, the Spheranx. So yeah, really interesting abilities. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Be awesome to hear what you think about these and which one stands out to you the most. That's the abilities and fighter card. So now I'll go away and I'll build the miniature. So we'll get this all assembled and then you can see up close how big it is, the detail, the different kind of varieties or the variations you can go with with the build. And then we'll line up with all those other uh, larger models and we'll see how it compares. So I'll see you back here in a second. And here we go, here's the miniature all built and looking great and really came together nicely. And I went for this head, but the option on the box is you could have this variation. So those are the two variations to go for. But I thought this one was really cool. Just some more of the hair coming down and the horns turned downwards. I thought it was a nice contrast to some of the other miniatures that are out there. But really happy with this, pretty quick to build. Some really nice detail and the hair and the horns are really great and those ears as well. So you've got different types of ears you could choose from too, but I like these ones. And then there's the back and side and this mane is really great. Some really nice detail in there. And there we go. So that's the model all assembled. And now let's do a side by side comparison with the other larger models that you can use in Warcry. And there we go. There's all four of the Warcry kind of monsters that were released. So from the left, we've got the Ogroid Myrmidon and we're getting bigger as we move through the range. So we've got the Ogroid on the left, then the Foamroid Crusher, then we've got the Mind Stealer Spheranx and then that awesome Chimera with the three heads. So yeah, you've got real difference in sizes here, starting from that smaller one, the Myrmidon moving up to the uh, Chimera. They're so different. But these are all the same price, so all of these are going to be £25. And again, I'll put a link in the description to Element Games where you can get that discount. And I'll put links for all of these. But yeah, for the same price bracket, you're getting quite a, a difference in detail and size. I mean, the Ogroid Myrmidon is a great miniature for starters, but that Chimera, there's a lot going for it. I couldn't get the, the Chimera, this one, I couldn't get this in the Warcry range because that had sold out. So I didn't get the fighter card or the ability card for it, but it is included in the book. So it's no big deal. I, I you know, managed to get the stats and, and everything for it. But the other three, they come with the ability cards and the fire cards, just as we saw for the Spheranx. So these are going to be really fun to either include as your warband, as a hero or ally. And you can also go up against these in monster battles. So that'd be quite fun. And then the, the, the monster section of the books, the uh, supplement books, they come with different rules. So you'll get different uh, monster hunting abilities for your warband. And then the monsters will have their own unique abilities too. So there's a lot we can do with these miniatures. And also for Warhammer Underworlds, the Foamroid Crusher, that's this one. He's got uh, like a solo game that Warhammer put out, which is free to download. And you can play that almost like a little challenge, like a little problem solving kind of challenge that you can play with Underworlds too. So they can be used in all different games. And it's also good to use these if you wanted to say play a different monster like a Hydra. You could use that monster's abilities and fighter type card from the book. But then use maybe the uh, Chimera as a substitute model. So that would definitely work. But I've got some a couple of other models that I think would be good to do a little comparison with. So let's bring in this one, the Carcadrac. So we've got the Chaos Lord on the Carcadrac. And we've also got this big guy, the Saigor from the Beasts of Chaos. So let's put these in the lineup and compare the size of those two. So now I've put in one of the Squig Herders from the Gloom Spike Gits and one of the Stormcast Eternals. And then we move him right from left to right up to the huge Saigor. So that'll give you a good idea of kind of how these miniatures are going to fit in and work together. But the size differences is pretty noticeable for those four, especially for the same price. And when you consider like the Saigor, if you bought on its own, it's £35, but that's Death War RP is £35. But if you got him as part of the start collecting Beasts of Chaos box, then that sets 55 plus you get a discount at Element Games with a link. And so that, you know, that could work out really cost effective to have a huge model 
like the Saigor by starting with one of those start collecting sets. But this is good. I think it's fun to see them all laid out like this and the different sizes. And it'd be great to certainly take these into uh, like a monster battle. That's going to be really fun. But even more fun to bring them into your warband, especially when you're playing through a campaign and you start getting more points, working up to that 1400 points. That's going to be really cool to bring one of these in a few battles into your campaign and really start building your warband into a unique warband with allies, heroes and monsters like this. So there we go, that's our Mind Stealer Spheranx, and it'd be great to hear what you think about this miniature, whether you've picked it up already, or if you've got any of the other monsters that came out for Warcry, or indeed any other monsters from Age Sigmar that you use in the game. So yeah, join in the comments below, let me know what you think about this one, and who your favourite monster is, or perhaps one that you'd like to pick up for your game. I'm really happy with this miniature, I think it's great, it's going to be a great addition and be fun. I think this one, rather than going up as a monster, it might be more fun to have as a hero or ally in the warband. But overall, a great miniature and as part of the Warcry set, it's really great to have. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a good idea of what you get in the box and how the miniature compares to some of the other larger models that come for Warcry and Age of Sigmar. And if you want to see the Ogroid Myrmidon, the Foamroid Crusher and the Chimera being unboxed and built and go through in their fighter and ability cards, then I've done videos for those too. So they're all up on the channel. If you like this kind of content and want to support the channel, then please consider coming and taking a look at the Patreon community. It's an awesome place. We hang out on Discord, discuss the hobby, share ideas, keep up to date with all the new things happening around Warcry, Underworlds and the new Curse City Warhammer Quest game. And you'll also get some content there that you just won't find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description below and it'll be awesome to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.